because you don't want to slide down that rock. Alright, here we go. Get ready for some bumps. <laughs> The northern end of Hole in the Rock Road, just a few miles outside of Escalante, Utah, are a couple of pretty arches. They used to be part of a national monument, but in 2017 the monument was shrunk and they were removed. Escalante, Utah is an interesting place. Once a remote, rural farming town, it has recently seen a lot of new tourist business to the point where the local Chamber of Commerce has come to the defense of the nearby monument designated a quarter of a century ago. But surrounding the town are still many of the ranchers that were bitter that the government designated the federal land to be a monument. And it's hard to blame them when they have this gorgeous BLM land surrounding them. It makes sense why many think of the area as their own personal backyard being opened up to the public. Parking for Covered Wagon Bridge is only big enough for a couple of vehicles, but so few people come here that you really shouldn't have a problem. Nasty people doing a, driving their dirt bikes up the cryptobiotic soil, making that trench. See, this is why you don't want to cut trail. This little path down here isn't a trail, that's just somebody going off to the side of the hill. But look at the erosion that it's caused. Coming down here, washing all the sand down into the wash. Because they took out that trench worth of cryptobiotic soil, it can't hold together and now everything's running down here every time it rains. The difference between an arch and a natural bridge is the natural bridge is created by water running underneath it. See the little iron concretions up there. Some of this is des desert varnish. But I think a lot of it's also just more mud that's run down than varnish. Oh, look at the pile of roots coming down from the plants above, splitting the rock off. It's only a matter of time before that big slab comes down. So I wonder where the water comes from. It looks like it goes almost under. I bet this just cuts around, but man, it's like a little cave. Hope there's nobody sleeping in here. Uh, no mountain lions, no bears. That's pretty cool though. Pretty much the end of it. It's not a, a lot of water coming through here. It must just be seeps mostly. This is more of a cave than Mossy Cave was. Nothing painted on the walls though. Very cool little side trip. If the BLM had meant to take out the sign, they would have taken out the post too. That's somebody else vandalizing. Considering this area is no longer a part of Grand Staircase, somebody might have saw the BLM sign and taken their revenge. I wonder if the same person who took revenge is also Mr. Bud Light Lime here. I'll just throw that away for him. A lot of people accuse tourists of being the problem. These ain't tourists that are doing this. People don't travel from California so they can tear up a sign in Utah.
The road winds and weaves, but was recently graded. Apart from the possibility of it getting sandy, you could probably drive a passenger car on it. Any four-wheel or all-wheel drive vehicle would probably be just fine. From up high on these plateaus, it doesn't look like there's any uh, major topology. I mean, there's there's cliffs and there's rolling hills, but you don't even see the Slick Rock Canyon that we're walking alongside of. It all looks so flat. These slots and Slick Rock, they just hide. You can be 200 feet away from them and you wouldn't notice it from all the rolling terrain. If you look across the way there, Kind of see a gets narrow into a little slot area. We'll have to see if we can get down here. There's some around here is supposed to be the way down. Not quite sure where though. Here lies the remains of somebody. We're in the bottom of a wash though. I could have washed down from a lot higher up. Yeah, mostly a hip bone in the back. Probably a dead cow. Cedar Wash Arch bridges down gracefully from the rim above. This layer of rock is in Trotta Sandstone, the exact same layer that makes up most of the arches in Arches National Park 130 miles away made out of sediments laid down on the shores of a giant inland sea during the Middle Jurassic. Back then this area was at the same latitude as the Sahara, with occasional river oases running down into the sea. Imagine a Nile River Delta with dinosaurs. On the distant horizon is the snow-capped Henry Mountains. That's where I came down. I came down the slick rock over here on the left. It was really sketchy. Looks like there's a trail going up the dirt on the right, right up through the middle. I think I might try that. Hopefully it's a little better, but it looks steep there. Hopefully it's just the angle. If you ever come see this arch, don't go down. It's not worth it. It's terrifying if you go down the slick rock. This gets you most of the way and then there's a big dry fall. I think this was the best way coming back up because there was a log that I could use as a ladder. Not a good ladder, it was still sketchy. I think being six foot three helped a lot. I think this is where the wildlife goes, so I mean, there's logic, but the view's not good from down there. This view of the arch is prettier than anything you'll get down there. So just don't go. Come to the rim and look. It's a better view and it's so much easier and better. I tore my pants. Hands are all scuffed up and bloody. Thank goodness I didn't break anything expensive but the possibility was there. I swear to God. You don't, don't go around this side here where it's slick rock. That's terrifying too. I thought I was going to die coming up there. I had to backtrack and then come up the dry fall. Whew. But yeah, this canyon sucks. There's a lot of cow hoofs down there. They obviously wander in from the bottom. If you want to come up here, wander in from the bottom with them. Now we got to go back up, but the sketchy place up here was a f***ing dream compared to the rest of this. Pretty arch. I mean, this is a gorgeous area, but it's a great rim walk. Maybe walk to the other rim and look into it. So not worth going down into the valley. I was seriously thinking if I sprained my ankle and I was trapped, I forgot my satellite beacon. Like, I would have no way out other than to crawl on my hands and knees out the bottom 
to hole in the rock road and then back up. I don't even know when you can get up on the rocks here because all the way down to this ridge way out there where it curves, there was no, there was no way back up on the top back there. Maybe further up, but it looked like it got worse up there too. Whew. Yeah, cool little place. Easy walk from the rim to the parking lot. Don't go in it. So I'm gonna show you, this is the first dry fall, but there's kind of a dirt path on the side. It's not a fun dirt path, but oh, compared to what I've done, this is a dream going up. See, this is it's the slippery part up here at the top because you don't want to slide down that rock. All right, here we go. Get ready for some bumps. Terrifying. I don't like this stuff. We're going up here. Slick rock's good, as long as it doesn't have dirt on it. And since that has a ton of dirt on it, it's like being on ball bearings. That loose dirt is worse than anything for slipping on slick rock. Get rid of that, yeah. Now it's like walking with Velcro on my shoes. Look how it stains where the water comes down. That's cool. Beautiful canyon from above. Down inside, it's not quite as impressive. It's a storm getting out. Pretty, pretty canyon though. Definitely looks like a wash. I wonder if this is the same wash as the canyon we were hiking. It's like driving down the Death Star Trench. Dirt erodes fast. When too many ruts are caused by cars, they scrape it all flat again using a grater. After years of this, roadbed digs its way downward. As bad as the idea of paving the landscape is, dirt roads aren't totally without blame themselves. Henry's look gorgeous out there. Still snow capped. hole in the rock road here. Very popular and well used dirt road going through Grand Staircase. And that's it. For me it was a drive back to Escalani for lunch at Nemo's drive through before heading home. But it's a fantastic pair of arches to visit if you're in the area of Hole in the Rock Road. Both are very short easy hikes if you're smart enough not to climb down into the canyon. And this kind of thing isn't rare in the Grand Staircase. It's one of the reasons the monument was so large to begin with. Thousands of these canyons are all over, hidden from the road, just waiting to be explored. Don't be afraid to spend some time away from the hugely popular areas to explore your own personal canyon. You might discover something just as special.